Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. We had a delivery today from PlotterDepot.com. This is the 53 inch Workhorse 2, beast of a plotter. The stand looks really interesting. I've put together a lot of plotters, but I've not put one together with this kind of stand. And this thing looks like a beast. So we're gonna get through it together and hopefully I make this look easier than hard. So let's get to it. All right, so I've got everything laid out. Um, I checked uh, the pieces and such to kind of get a little uh, idea of what we're dealing with here. So things to check for, a little inventory list. You've got your two uprights. It's not a left and a right. So you got your two uprights, you've got your cross beam, cross member, cross support. You've got a right and a left feet set. You've got a right and a left media roller holders and plotter brackets. And then you've got a right and a left media basket brackets. And then you've got the media basket itself and the media roller. And then just double check on your plotter um, that you've got four plastic feet. Uh, now they do, the plastic caps do remove uh, so you can access the nuts. Uh, to tighten it down to the brackets. So if you don't see them, check around in the box, look in the bag. But uh, you've got your box here. That's gonna include your wiring, USB cable, power cable, some cutting bits, uh, and a blade holder. And then last but not least, you've got your hardware box that includes a wrench and all of your hardware to put it together. So that being said, you've got all your parts. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the feet. Uh, I have not put one of these together, so we're gonna go through this together. This one, uh, I hope I don't eat my words, but this one actually looks easier than the ones I've put together in the past. So, you know, excited for that. Um, one thing to note that I did notice, um, these, the both the uprights and the uh, center support, I'm gonna call it, um, they're indented on one side and they're outdented on the other. The out dent is the outside. So with your legs, the out dent to the outside and then your center support, the out dent to the front of the machine. So the legs are offset holes, it's longer in the back, shorter in the front. The longer side of the legs go to the rear uh, of the machine. So we just need to figure out which is the left and which is the right. We'll do that with matching up a center support, I'll call it, I think that's what I'm calling it. And then an upright. So these are pre-threaded, which is really nice. Um, typically it says no bolts, I'm, I'm sorry, no nuts. So you've got short or closer together here, longer here. So we're gonna use that as our guide. That's gonna be our left side. So we need to flip this over. So we have the short to the back of the machine, which is facing you as so I'm putting it together as is the front of the machines facing me and then the Holes that are more spread out are toward me, front of machine. So that makes these holes, same thing, further apart, closer together. Got a match on the foot with the longer side, farther apart on this side, closer together here. So this is our left upright configuration. So to better give you, a, I guess, a view, further apart, closer together, closer together, further apart, just like that. We'll set this on here. All right. For bolts, there's our left leg in front of the machine to me. I'll set this aside. And same thing here. We know the longer side of the foot goes to the back. So we need, now we need to figure out which is top. It'll just be opposite of this one. So Closer together to the back, just like this. Closer together to the back, further apart toward me, further apart to the right of the machine, just like that. All right, we have a right and we have a left. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the, um, the right leg and attach it to the center support. Um, now you'll, with these, there's, they're smaller on the back, larger on the front. Reason being is they come with all these little black pieces which are plugs and caps. So you drop the bolt down into the plug and then that goes down into there to help align the bolt on the back side. So I'm just gonna start with two right now. 
at least get it to hold to the center support. I've got two in there. Okay, so uh, I had to change camera angles a little bit because this, this one's a little tricky and it's because it's so long. So what I'm gonna do is take the leg and I'm gonna set it on the top of this and balance it on the top and put the screws down this way to make it a little bit easier. So again, I've got two at an angle started already. So I'm just going to put the wrench through this bottom one and then I'm gonna line the holes up like this. Okay, so there we go. I've got two started. I'm gonna do the other two. All right, so I've got all those on and then we've got these caps that are pretty cool. They cover the screws, you just close them up, kind of like button snaps. And we'll do the other leg. Okay, changed angles on the camera again so you can see this. So now that I've got the right leg attached, now it'll stand. Well, it looks like the hardest part was that. So I'm gonna get four of these inserts with the bolts already in them. Go ahead and put them in the leg, or the upright. Grab a wrench and get to work. This one back here. All right. All right, so now same on this side as we did the other side. Those little button clap caps. All right, good to go. So I'm gonna turn this again. The back of the machine is the longer feet and the front I've got facing me. So next we're going to attach our, so these media rollers go to the rear. These line up with the top of the uprights. So these are gonna use the Phillips head. All right, that's our left side bracket. And this will be our right side bracket. right side on since we're already over here on the right side okay so now we're gonna put in the media basket brackets um, on this particular machine the long side goes toward the rear of the machine so toward where the media roller is uh, and then you've got these rounded out notches those go down uh, and then this side goes against the bracket so this side's longer so this is our right side Okay, there's the right side. This is a hefty, hefty stand, but very lightweight. I like that. Wow, it was, uh, it was a bit of a challenge getting the uprights all connected. So next, I'm going to take the four black feet, uh, unscrew the feet off of the machine, and then I'm gonna set the machine on top of here, so. Okay, and last, so you've got the black plastic and then the nuts are on the inside of the black plastic caps or the feet. So these stayed in here, these came off, but I'm taking the feet off and just using the nuts and I'll store the feet away. Uh, so since, I'll show you, since these 
stayed in it. Whoops. I'm just gonna use the foot to start the nut like that, and I'll just pull the foot off. All four. And to cinch them up, they don't need to be super tight, but to cinch them up, just take one of the feet, and use, a, use it as a, what I'd call a finger wrench, or grab a wrench and just cinch them a little bit. All right, it's mounted to it. So we're going to do the media basket next. Cool. I'm gonna put in the front. Basket doesn't have a front or a rear. It's the same on both sides. Nice, very nice. Baskets installed, last but not least. Our media roller. Well, guys, we made it to the end and this is the end result. And this thing is a monster. It is a very beefy, nice looking machine. I can't wait to use it. Um, hopefully this video helps you put one together. I, that was my first time putting it together. From here on, I'm pretty sure I can put these things together in probably 20 minutes. So if you have any questions, reach out, plotterdepot.com. Again, this is the Workhorse, tool, uh, Workhorse 2 model. Uh, I'm gonna find this thing a home, I'll hook it up to my computer, get the blade ready, and do some test cuts. Thanks for watching. Perfect. Perfect.